What's good, family? It's your man, Daryl Alder II. I hope you're doing well. Want to drop this word. But before I do, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to speak your truth. I pray you get the glory and I pray that people hear the message from your heart and your heart alone, Father. I decrease that you might increase and I step to the side saying, Holy Spirit, come to the forefront and move as you see fit. It is all about you, the Father and the Son. I'm grateful that you allowed me to be in this position. What is man that thou art mindful of you, mindful of us, Lord? You've blessed me to be a walking vessel with your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to say, don't neglect the process. If there's anything I've learned in life and as I continue to learn, is that it's important to develop appreciation for the process that God takes you on. You know, this day and age, we want things instantaneously and we get dissatisfied, disappointed, or disillusioned when things don't happen overnight. But if there's anything I can tell you, it's take joy in the process that God is taking you through. Have thanksgiving. He's preparing you and equipping you in the right way so that when you get to the destination that he's ordained for you to be in, you are able to handle the responsibility that comes with it. And on top of that, you have, uh, you have a lot of things deposited within you because of what you've gone through. The process should humble us because if we get things overnight or if God shows us the big picture and allows us to take everything on in our own strength, we become arrogant and we begin to realize or think to ourselves that we don't need God. So it's important for us to go step by step with the Lord because in doing so, we have the right character, the right perspective, and we are able to be utilized in the fashion that he has ordained and he gets the glory. Remember the blessings that he provides in our life, they're not simply for us, they're also for others. He told Abraham that you are blessed to be a blessing. So I pray this word encourages you today and I just wanna say for anyone out there that it may be difficult as you're waiting on God, but God's got you to rest in his peace. He says in the word of God, be still and know that I am God. The word also says weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Step by step, day by day, God is with you. So don't focus so much on getting to your destination that it drives you nuts. Focus on him because if you keep your mind on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. There's an old Fred Hammond song of his uh, second album and second um, solo album. It's called Deliverance. And the song goes, uh, you called and told me you had need of me you taught me to listen said every word is the key you said i'll give you treasures and riches never known a whole life long day by day leaving all the world behind me step by step honoring you that's all i got for y'all today if there's anybody watching and you don't have a relationship with god the father the only way to have one is with his son jesus christ this comes with the relationship with jesus a belief in your heart and an acknowledgement with your mouth that he that he died on the cross and that god the father raised him back from the dead if you confess that and believe that in your heart you believe he's the son of god you will be saved from the penalty of your sins. You will receive new life, everlasting life. Your name will be written in the book of heaven and you will not go to hell because without Jesus, without relationship with him, you're headed to hell. He says, broad is the road that leads to destruction, but narrow is the way that leads to salvation and how few are those who find it. John 3, 16 said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Won't you join me in this prayer if you want to know him? Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. I believe God the Father raised you back from the dead. I ask you to come into our hearts and be my, be, um, come into my heart, excuse me, and be my Lord and Savior. You are the Son of God. And then also another thing, as he forgave you for your sins, forgive others. Because if you don't forgive, then he won't forgive you. Forgiveness may be tough sometimes because your feelings may not want to follow, but forgiveness is a choice. Your feelings will follow. Ask God to help you forgive everybody from your heart so that you can be free from the burden of bitterness and anger and all that comes with unforgiveness. I gotta go. Peace.